Hello everyone, welcome to ProMind's AutoCAD Tips and Tricks. This week we'll be going over a useful tip for manipulating solids. It's called the Solid History uh, command. And the way this works is if you type in Solid Hist, I already have it turned on to 1, the default is 0. So you type in 1, press enter, and then show hist, which is for show history. Uh, if you press that and change it to 2, I have it on 2 by default. And then if you draw a box, I'll just do that here. At 0, 0, 0. And then we'll say we want it to be 8.5. Nine by seven, and for the height we'll put fifty. Now we have our rectangular box, and then if we draw a cylinder and start it right in the center of the box, we'll make this red so we can t t tell the difference between the solids. Start in the middle, let's make it go this far. Then for the radius, for the height, we'll make it 200. A bit longer than the rectangle. And uh, maybe we'll make it a bit shorter than that. There. Now, the next step to demonstrate the solid history and the show history um, commands, the usefulness of these two commands, We'll use the subtract command and then select your first object, press enter, then select your second object and press enter. Now you'll see there's a there's a little bit of a circle here at the top. Now this is just a representation of where uh, your cylinder used to be. And this is a result of the solid history and show history uh, commands being activated. Now if you press control and click on this uh, circle, you'll see that you can select the uh, old solid. Now, if we look at it from the bottom, what we can do is manipulate this non-existing solid, but we have the history of it by pressing control, selecting it. And then if you want to change the height, for example, so that the, the cube, uh, the box we created is closed off, just press on the bottom here and just move it upwards a little bit. And then if you see, the bottom of the box is now uh, gone. Now, if you change your show history to uh, one, it will remove the circle and where it used to be. And then you'll see that your finished product is over here. Since I moved uh, the old solid that we had subtracted, you'll see that this is now the change that occurred once I moved it again. So that concludes this week's AutoCAD Tips and Tricks. If you guys have any questions or if you have any suggestions for another topic, please send them to us through the comments section below. Thanks for watching.